Welcome back guys, it's your girl Steph and this is my channel, Only The Good Things. Today, I'm doing a bedroom tour. So if you love boho, if you love living in the jungle, then come with me. So this is what you first see when you walk into my room small hallway. I was wondering if I should put anything on these walls, but maybe it's a bit busy. And then I have this beautiful bamboo wind chime. Does it soothe your soul? And then I have a floor lamp. It's actually a bedside lamp, but I put it there. And then we walk in and you see my dresser. The dresser and this is a very popular dresser from ikea i believe it's called the malm dresser but i actually installed knobs myself and there are these cute geometric knobs that i got from home sense so all i had to do was drill a hole through this part and then i put the knob in i could only find these knobs once so i had to go on amazon and find some other wooden knobs to go with the vibe and here I have my son's foot from when he was five months old. So I like seeing that as soon as I come into my room, a little plant and some trinkets. Guess what's in here? Beauty blenders, yes. So I will list everything down below, but this is from Structube. This planter is from Amazon. It came in a set of three. That frame shadow box is also from Amazon. And then you'll see this kind of terracotta set. All came from the same store called Stokes here in Canada. And also I have this little um, piece of decor, which is all for, so from Stokes. And then I have my wall art that I made myself. And if you want to know how to make this, I will link that video below as well. And moving on, I have this giant mirror. And this is my look of the day. We're very... Japanese vibes today. Ooh. Very kimono vibes today. Yes. So we got this. This little plant is actually a calamundin plant, which it looks like um, tiny oranges. And my water can. And then up here, I got a hanging plant. And if you guys want a plant tour, I can definitely do that for you guys, but that's a whole nother video because that will take too long. And then turning over, I have this basket just full of stuff for massage, self-massage, um, just in case I'm sore. That's a great purchase. And then I have like things to step on for foot massage. I have very flat feet, so I definitely need that kind of stuff. Bedside table, which is from JISC. So on this bedside table, I keep a box of Kleenex, and this Kleenex box is from Stokes, so is this basket. And in here, I just keep my glasses, the remote controls to my television, uh, any kind of like moisturizing lotions or whatever that I like to put on before bed, I house them in there. And then here, I have my notebook where I can jot down all my ideas or whatever thoughts I may have. Um, and my water bottle. I drink a lot of water. This is a 20 ounce and I probably drink at least 10 of those every day. And then moving over here is my bed area. And I'm so happy with this set I just got from Amazon. My bed is from Structube in Canada. This wall tapestry is from Amazon. Then I did a little DIY situation with my bedside tables. I wanted like a hotel vibe. So I actually used these Ikea brackets that are used for mounting shelves. And then I bought this cording, this light cording from Amazon. And then this shade from Amazon. So it was all separate items, but I put them together and that's what I came up with. There are some bamboo blinds they're very inexpensive really easy 
and they are from, where are they from? Buclair. And then moving to the other side is the major jungle part. Closer. This rug is also from Structube. And then I have some larger plants. And then I did a little DIY plant wall. Um, those planters, they're not actually planters, but they're um, these little kind of wall units, which you can put little trinkets in or whatever you want. I put plants, of course. And then I have my TV. I think I will eventually mount this TV just for a cleaner look, but I'm not sure yet. And then I got this little um, dresser unit uh, and I got that from Canadian Tire, but I thrifted it, but I know it's originally from Canadian Tire. And I just keep my clutches and my smaller purses in there as well as hats. So when I wake up, guys, this is what I see and it makes me so happy. So this is me waking up and then plants. You see my ring light reflection? Yeah, it feels really good to wake up this way. It's very calming and I feel great. And then, so moving on from this area, I have my little vanity set up. And so I have like my essential skincare stuff on a little Lazy Susan, which is actually for the kitchen, um, as well as this mirror that lights up where I do my makeup. And I have this tiny little cart to <laughs> store my beauty blender. I think it's supposed to be for kids, it's a toy. But I use it for that because I just, it makes me happy. And then I have some everyday palettes that I keep here. And this is actually a napkin holder, bamboo napkin holder from the dollar store. And then I keep all my brushes, hair brushes and makeup brushes and lip liners in this little stationary rotating situation. Apparently I like to use things for my own purposes. I, I'm a rule breaker, you know? And then lastly here, I have a plant, of course, but actually inside, housed in here, are my hair accessories. So like bobby pins, everyday stuff, um, hair elastics, you have it. And this was actually something I bought on clearance because I think originally it was a pineapple decor, but I think someone broke the top part. So I made it into my own thing. And then moving on to this corner is my meditation corner. tend to use but I don't really use it <laughs> and I have my singing bowl and it's just a little nook where I can relax and I should utilize more and then I have some more plants just hanging there and on this nightstand I keep all everything that has to do with scents um, so this is a diffuser, um, this is a room spray, I have my candles here, which I failed to light, um, struggle is real, and so inside this box, ooh, the struggle chat, okay, inside this box, which I got from HomeSense, this diffuser is from Amazon, and this little charger is from Simon's Home. So inside here, I have a lot more candles, my essential oils, I have incense, uh, anything that has to do with scents, I just house it in here. Whenever I open this box, it smells, it smells so good. What are your favorite kind of scents? Comment down below. I'm myself, I'm a citrus type of girl. That, those are my favorites. Anything citrus, I like that. And this little guy is an electric... Uh, electric lighter that I also got from Amazon and I really love it I love how it looks and that I never have to you know buy a new one unless I break it which is probable cuz I'm a little heavy-handed and then let's move on and then I have some more space to house my makeup and if you want an in-depth tour of that like that there's a whole other video in these drawers I keep all my makeup I have a lot of makeup it's to the point like I have to <laughs> resort to just sticking things anywhere. And then, oh, and also this desk is from Canadian Tire as well. 
and this thing has been through so much with me um i redid the surface because obviously i'm such a good diy there are no bubbles in this at all <laughs> but it's just a contact paper that i put on top because this the top of this desk was actually so sensitive to any type of water as soon as water would go on it it would swell up like it wasn't uh, i was kind of disappointed in the quality of that but that's a different conversation i put these knobs on myself they actually came with smaller knobs but i prefer these ones and these were thrifted and this uh that's my trash can and see it's been through so much I actually broke this whole leg off when i moved and then i just used some uh what is it wood wood glue and it fixed the problem so we're good but you know it's a secret but from afar you never would know there's so much wrong with this desk anyway so moving on we get into this little hallway before my closet and my um bathroom so yes these are both from amazon and then moving on to this side of the room, I just have some of my makeup palettes. And these are actually picture frame shelves from Ikea and they were very inexpensive. And they're great because they're shallow, but they're deep enough to house like a lot of palettes. So all of my other makeup that I can't fit into my vanity desk makeshift situation, I put them here. And of course I have a little plant and he's thriving there. And this guy, this um, wooden piece, I thrifted that as well. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites. And then we move on. Oop. Nope, that's off. <laughs> to my closet. So I have a, I'm very blessed to have such a giant closet. Um, and I have maybe an issue with clothes. Who knows? Oh, it's a little messy in here. But it's messy, but organized messy the way I like it. Everything is labeled, everything has a place. If you guys want a closet tour, let me know. I have a lot of clothes I could show you guys. And a lot of shoes, apparently, I have a problem. And then let's move on to the bathroom. So as soon as you walk in, this is what you see. And of course I've made it into a jungle. So on the left, we have a little plant situation and some bath salts and bubbles and all that good luxury stuff. Then I have a piece of wall decor, plant there. The toilet, very glamorous. This guy, it's a kangaroo fern. He's very dramatic and wants to die, but he doesn't ever die. But I just watered him and he should be doing okay. So moving here, I just have some of my body oils. This is a diffuser and some more bath salts. And it's just on this um, wooden tray that's actually defective and I got it on sale. Your girl loves a sale, I'll tell you that. So I just hide it like this. And then over here, I got my little dragon fruit plant. And of course, oh, she's dirty. It's his fault. Um, I have my skincare fridge. Now moving along, I have this window, which I kind of DIY'd this whole situation as well. So what I did is that rod is actually a pot holder for the kitchen. And I just installed it there. And then I put some hanging plants to give more of a, you know, a nice vibe and have more plants at the bottom. Look at this little tribal pot, I love it. And um, then I put this privacy kind of screen here um, because obviously I don't want people to see me in my birthday suit. Uh, just walking down the street, you know? <laughs> and uh, But I needed a good solution for something that would give me privacy, but would allow enough light in because I have a lot of plants in my bathroom, as you can see. So that worked out really well. Moving, oh, I gotta show you guys my bath mat. So over here, I have this bath mat, which is from Amazon. 
and then moving over here i have this very simple one which is from ikea and that one was really expensive inexpensive i think it's about seven dollars and i have my body composition scale which is super cool um and i love having white bath mat because i can just throw them in the wash whenever i need to and i put bleach in there so they always look new and then this is my shower curtain i love the little tassels on the bottom and uh this is also from amazon i have my towel just on the hook there and inside here I have a um, couple bunches of lavender because you know your girl likes to be luxurious when she's in there and it does give like a, off a very nice smell with the steam and it is relaxing and then I have all of my other uh, you know exfoliants and trinkets and soaps and that's it guys.